So now let's discuss the compound interest formula. As it says there, the total amount A accrued on a principal capital P deposited into an account, there's a typo, but not yet, that offers an annual interest rate, lowercase r, compounded n times per year for t years, is given by, and there's the formula, A equals P times the quantity, one plus r over n, raised to the n times t. Uh, we have a new letter, that letter being n, and depending on how it says it's being compounded, meaning how often it earns interest, uh, affects the letter n. So the last two lines there, we have six different values for n that we'll discuss at least. n equaling one means annually, once a year. n equaling two, semi-annually, twice a year. That means I got an email message, which I'm totally not going to block that out. Now you know what my email notification sounds like. N equaling four is quarterly, N equaling 12 is monthly, 52 is weekly, and 360 or 365 is daily. Now it depends on the bank on whether they choose 360 or 365. The former is choosed, choose, good English, picked, I'll use that way, uh, because that means every cycle has 30 days, and then 365 is the typical calendar year. Uh, that little black and white book that you get for your credit card, for instance, tells you which one they pick. Um, the one that everyone just throws away, it's there. So because of that, since there's two options, I will tell you which one to use uh, if that problem ever were to occur on the test. Okay, now again, a warning. Uh, as it says there in chapter one, the way I present the problems will be different than what's in the book. It's not to confuse you. I just think mine are a little bit easier to put into the calculator. Uh, so don't freak out too much, but please also get used to the ones that I give you in these videos and in class, because those are the ones I'm giving you on the test. So you don't have to memorize the formula. You just have to know when and how to use it. Also, if you look back in your compound interest formula, there's an N and a T in the exponent. Uh, do not type in the N times T in the calculator uh, without parentheses. And the way to avoid all that is if, as it says there, if N were 12 and if T were five, then type in 60 as the exponent, not 12 times five. Because if you don't put 12 times five in parentheses, then you're not gonna get the right answer. Uh, so I'd rather you off to the side before uh, even starting the problem, figure out what your exponents are going to be, and this is true for the entire chapter, and then put that number into the exponent. All right, we have a slew of problems. We have the intro to compound interest, we'll, which will show you the actual compound interest formula, and then we'll have a comparison video of simple and compound interest. And we'll have finding the necessary compound interest rates algebraically. That one's gonna use some radicals. Uh, freak out if you want to. And lastly, determining the number of years is a demonstrative purpose video only. You will not have one in your homework, nor will you have one in your on your test. It is just to show you how you, you can sh how you can find the number of years algebraically. We're using the calculator to do it. Uh, so there is that. So just watch it leisurely. Don't freak out too much unless, of course, you like freaking out. All right, enjoy those.